Hey, what's up? I'm back, still here, was very busy lately for a very good cause, but uh, Xiaomi invited me to come check out their new Mi Mix 2S, so uh, it was in my hometown, sure, I was there, let's go. At the first Xiaomi event ever held in Shanghai, Xiaomi announced their latest smartphone, the Mix 2S, in the box, you'll find the phone, a USB-C to USB cable, adapter, a case, SIM card tool, USB-C, the headphone jack adapter, and the usual paperwork. Although at first glance, its housing is very similar to that of the Mix 2, the 2S has actually gotten some really significant upgrades. The Mix 2S is the first Chinese smartphone to hit the market with the all-new Snapdragon 845. It comes with 6 gigs of RAM and uh, 64 or 128 gig storage. And there's a 8 gig RAM model with 256 gigs of storage. The 3400mAh battery is the same as in the Mix 2, but with improved hardware you could expect to get much better battery performance. It still supports the same 43 global bands, it has a dual SIM card tray, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC, all the good stuff that you would find on the Mix 2 as well. On the back of the phone you'll find the fingerprint scanner on the exact same place as the Mix 2, but the Mix 2S has gotten a dual lens camera that is located on the left instead of in the center which is actually very welcome. It shoots 12 megapixel photos and has much larger pixels as compared to the Mix 2, resulting in much better pictures. And even though it's the same amount of megapixels, they look a lot better. So these are all pictures that I've taken with the Mix 2S straight from the camera. Even though I'm currently using a beta version of the ROM and it's uh, being mentioned that the camera will be improved upon release, I'm already very impressed with the camera. Because of the dual lens found on the Mix 2S, they actually have a portrait mode and that's really surprisingly good. You can see the transition between the background blur and the in-focus parts a little bit, but it's actually doing a really good job. And the overall picture looks good, so there you go. Other improvements are in the voice assistant that is uh, integrated throughout the UI, which now uses the Mi Xiao I brain, which uh, none of you probably care about since that currently only supports Chinese. The AI will be used for photograph enhancements as well, and in the demo they've shown how you can change the shape of the bokeh and even create this dynamic bokeh, which uh, I couldn't do with the beta firmware right now, but it did look really cool in the demo. The Mix 2S comes uh, with the latest version of Mi UI 9 and includes the new full screen mode which removes the on-screen buttons for gestures pretty much like uh, on the iPhone 10. Another big feature on the Mix 2S is the addition of Qi wireless charging and not only did Xiaomi add the charging protocol to the device, they actually released this Qi charging pad as well. This will sell for only 99 RMB here in China which is about 14 US dollars right now. For those wondering, yes that charger will also work with the iPhone 10 or any other phone that supports Qi wireless charging so that is uh, pretty nice. The charging pad connects over a USB-C cable which unfortunately is not included. So to conclude, the Mix 2S is a really worthy upgrade. The camera is really mind-blowing. It's really good. I think it's the best that I've seen on a smartphone so far. It really is next to what the Pixel or the iPhone 10 is doing. The speed increase with the new processor compared to the Mix 2, it feels even more snappy. Wireless charging is great. So overall, I find it to be one of the best smartphones out there. At the Mi Mix event, Xiaomi also announced a new Mi AI speaker mini. And at the Mi Mix 2S event, Xiaomi also announced a 15-inch gaming laptop. I've tried it hands-on for a few minutes at the event, but not really enough to get a feel of its capabilities when uh, playing games or editing videos. What do you guys say? Should I do a hands-on and render some videos? Maybe do some motion graphics and test it out? So that was it for the Mi Mix 2S event. I do have to note that I've been extremely busy over the last few weeks. I've not been able to post new videos, but uh, it's been for a very good cause. I will go very hard on this channel as soon as I'm back from Europe. And as always, thanks for watching and I hope to see y'all soon. Peace.